I'm speaking with... Hi, I'm Erica Stanley. I'm an interactive developer at ASEER Studios, speaking here at Wearables TechCon. Excellent. Erica, you're awesome. All right, I want... You, you talked about essentially non-visual interfaces, programming for that. Uh, and you're doing a lot of work in MCR. For those of you, those of us not clued in, like myself, before this presentation, what is that? And so that's a transition of MVC, Model View Controller, to non-display type interfaces. So what it's saying here is model controller representation, where your representation could be physical or digital. All right. So what? walk me through. What kind of... You said you were doing some experimenting, having some positive and negative results. So I... We're very, very interested in this topic, so I, we want to learn from your mistakes. So what have you been experimenting with? What's worked? What hasn't? So I've been experimenting with a few of the wearables I have in my home, but also with the MetaWare. Um, and so with the MetaWare, I'm creating a kind of a hub um, between my devices that can do some of the routing to the different representations that I have. All right. So that's what you've been set up. So what has worked and what hasn't? So what has worked, I'm pretty much good with the Pebble. That's working pretty well. And, and what have you been doing with the Pebble? So with the Pebble, I am using uh, my hand movement to, to change certain things. So um, one of the things that you can do with a Pebble is kind of shake your hand and, and wake it up. So I'm using that to like turn on my lights, um, things like that, which is working really well. Um, except that it's a little bit uh, sensitive. So even, yeah, I'm, I gesture all the time. I'm kind of... So is it the lights are going on and off in your house all the time? Well, not now because I cut it off because my <laughs> fiancé was not having that. But, <laughs> but it is a little sensitive, and, and I'm one of those hyper people that gestures constantly um, and is always kind of just dancing. And, and if I pulled out, I could see that, actually, because you were gesturing as we were talking. But I, yes, I'm, Okay, I'm, go on. I'm one of those hyper types, those nervous <laughs> types. And so that one, probably not the best interaction model for that device. But um, you were, what, did you have like a Z-Wave or a Zigbee system set up in your house? What were you uh, communicating with the Pebble? Yes, yes. A Zigbee. I'm oh. sorry. So you were communicating with the Pebble and the Zigbee, and, and how did that translation go? It go okay? Yes, that translation went perfectly well. Um, and keep in mind, I have a, a very stable Wi-Fi connection in the house and very stable Bluetooth connection with my Pebble. So this hasn't been tested in such a way where one of the gentlemen in, in the audience mentioned where you don't have that consistent connection. So that is probably the next stage after I get my connect issues fixed. That is probably the next stage of this. All right, so if the Pebble with uh, Community Zigbee turning the lights on, that was a successful, what wasn't so successful? <laughs> um, so what wasn't so successful is, is my attempts to uh, kind of sense gestures with my Connect, my 360 Connect, and kind of sense those gestures and make certain things happen. So right now, I, part of it is, is the machine learning portion of that, right? So, which one gentleman also mentioned, um, just learning what the gestures are and, and determining that this always means this particular thing. That's one of the issues I'm having trouble with right now. And also sending- So to, to break that down a little bit, it's having trouble in that it's just not registering it or it's not successfully transferring it? Where, where is the trouble happening? It's not successfully translating it. So there are times it's, it's not even 50% effective as far as... But it does recognize the movement, but it can't translate it to whatever device you're trying to send it to. It recognizes it on occasion. So you have to do the, the gesture exactly as you did it the first time. And so there's going to have to be some noise that I can add to the tracking so that it can determine that this gesture is the same as this gesture, if that makes sense. You know, I've got to connect on an Xbox One, and the thing is very frustrating to use. <laughs> I'm told, actually, from, from a few people that the Xbox One Connect might give me some benefits um, because there have been some updates, some, some ways that it's tracking, multi-person tracking, for instance, um, and determining that this person is gesturing and this person cannot gesture. <laughs> so that would be helpful. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, Erica. Thank you.